It does. All right, so season 15, episode 2. Here we go. We've got Zarya on Velskaya. Um, I haven't watched the video before doing this uh, VOD review. However, it's in the title that he loses, so we know he's going to lose. Um, aside from that, like I said, I haven't watched it, so we're going to do this all on the fly. Um, and we'll see what kind of um, mistakes or problems we can find. Um, actually, I forgot to load up my pen software. Here it is. All right, test run. Okay, great. I'm going to do pink today for Zarya. Um, things I'll be looking for on Zarya will be... Um, Basically, like, use of bubbles, who he's bubbling, when he's bubbling. Does he have a bubble to give to somebody when his teammate's going to need it? Is he only bubbling Reinhardt? Um, um, if he's got high charge, is he asking for heals? Is he getting good use of his high charge between right clicks and left clicks? Positioning, but that's kind of a every VOD review. Uh, things like that. So... Uh, without further ado, let me turn the webcam off and um, let's get started. Okay, we, all right. So one thing I want to preference or preface here is uh, we need a tab so I can see what our allied team is running. So it looks like we've got McCree. Genji and Sim? Oh boy. Okay. This is... Okay, so you got... Oh, we, and we have a Hammond. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's... I'm like half trying to figure out who your team is, so I'm not really watching this as closely as I should be. So we have a Lucio. So, all right, help me count here. So we've got, we've got Sim, Genji, McCree, Hammond, Zarya, and Lucio? We're solo healing Lucio, is, is that right? Okay, this is, yeah, no wonder you lost. Uh, Lucio is not a good solo heal. Um, all right, so you did a good job with your first bubble. You got your 40 charge off of the fire strike. Um... What I'd probably do here is I either would have bubbled the Hammond who dove in. I think that's him right there. Um, the other thing is being that I I do play quite a bit of Symmetra. Um, she's trying to get her beam charged right here. Um, and she doesn't really have that main shield tank to hide behind. You'd probably be able to get some pretty easy charge off of bubbling her here. All right, you do Hammond. That's fine. That's a big bubble target. However, the Sim died. And now you're dead, too, because you don't really have a shield to hide behind after your bubble's gone. Oh. Wait, we had a tab. Let's go back. Let's see what we're running here. So did we always have an Anna? I saw Anna. There we go. All right. Did we? Was the Anna always there, or did I miss see Anna as Genji? Maybe I did. Um, having an Anna is a little bit better here, but this is still not a good viable team comp, at least on this map. You could probably get it to work on some other maps. Uh, maybe like um, Oasis, I could see maybe working. Um, I'm trying to think what other ones. Maybe, um, I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, I can't think of the name. Ilios, maybe? Although probably not well. Maybe well, but probably not well. Um, but yeah, this team comp... So ideally, if you want to be Zarya, um, I would probably be more looking for either... On a less likely to work team comp where Zarya might still be viable if Hammond is Roadhog, 
obviously Reinhardt would be ideal. Um, I'm going, I'm trying to stay away from the obvious, but Reinhardt would be ideal. Um, maybe Diva. Um, but your team would have to be super aggressive at the choke. Uh, same thing with the Roadhog, really. Unless the enemy team doesn't have a shield and he could try to like hook somebody in, get the pick, and then move in, and then you protect him with the bubble as he hooks. But Ham and Zarya, I'd, I'll be surprised if you guys make it through the choke um, as a team. Not, I mean, Hammond and maybe Sim get puts down a telly and a couple people take it, although that's not a good telly. Okay, so Sim got a pick, but she died. Break low, break low. Yeah, Lucio should be speed boosting. I'd be bubbling the uh, Lucio as soon as you could. There you go. Yep. Oh, hacked. I'd be getting out right now. Everyone's gone. You're positioning. I mean, yeah, you're not even getting healed right now. All right, you made it out. Good. Um, wait, who did you bubble just there? Okay, so you bubble Sim. I would not have done that. I would have kept it. Um, the, the, the difference between bubbling the Sim before versus now, um, your whole team was basically around Sim. Right now, you guys are trickling to the point. Um, McCree just died. Literally just died. And then these two guys here just got there. You're almost dead. Uh, you're at about a quarter of a health. And everybody else is respawning. So bubbling Sim here does nothing. Because let's say she gets a little bit of her beam charge. She's not going to be able to do anything with it. And if she tries to do anything with it, she's going to die again. Um, so hold your bubble here. Um, wait for the Hammond to come back. Bubble him. Because you're already at high charge. So wait to... You've got some time to kind of play with until you can kind of go back out there and poke because you can't really poke right now anyway. You're low health. Get in there. See, Hammond's back. You could be bubbling him right now and he could try to be creating some space for you guys to get in. Because the Anna looks like, yeah, she's back and she's trying to heal you. Okay, so you got a kill. That's good. That's good. Lucio should be speed boosting. I don't know if he needed to ult there. You guys are using too many ults now. I don't know. Maybe he saw something I'm not seeing. I'd be working on the Moira, not really working on the high ground person. But you got it. Um, how long did you go without using a bubble? Or did your bubbles just not really do anything? Okay, um, use a bubble here. It, it's already a one fight, but you'll get a little extra charge and your charge is dropping. It's down to a 72 and it's going to at least go into the low 60s. Use it. So what if it doesn't do much? At this point, you're just trying to maintain whatever charge you can keep. I would either have bubbled the Lucio or the Hammond. Probably would have gotten the Hammond just because it was such a cluster right there. Um, you could be bubbling the Hammond again. Bubbling the Hammond there might have saved his life. He just died. Um, in a case like this, don't be stingy with him. Uh, oh, that okay. So, all right. Had you have listened to me, you wouldn't have been able to save that person. However, because you didn't listen to me, Junkrat should be alive right now and you should have gotten 40 charge. Um, no excuse to not have saved him. That should have been an easy bubble target for you. Wow, they're really trying to contest that first point. I don't know, whenever I play comp games on Volskaya, the second my team gets wiped on the first point, nobody ever tries to come back and defend it. I'm surprised they tried to contest so much. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the Rhine is terrified. Okay, good kill, bubble. Okay, good. You. Wait, what? How did you die? Did that go right through his bubble? Oh, your bubble went down just as he. <laughs> That's unlucky. Okay, trying to poke a little bit. It's fine. Um, you could be communicating a little bit to, to the Hammond and say, hey, Hammond, help me get a little charge. He'll come back and just sit there for you to bubble him. So communication could be good there. Now would be a good time to have bubbled the Sim. This goes back to the team being there and being able to support the Sim a little bit better. She's trying to get her, her beam charged. Uh, did you... I think you bubbled the ham in there, right? No, you didn't. You didn't bubble anybody there. You should have bubbled the ham in there. Because right now you don't have much charge, so you're just not really doing anything to anybody. You're just tickling them. Oh, this is painful. You can't hurt the Lucia. <laughs> Yeah, it's all about keeping high charge with Zarya. You gotta get those bubbles off. Uh, bubble the Sim maybe here? I'd probably be bubbling Sim right now. Okay, well you guys got it. Yeah, had you have been a little bit more aggressive with some of those bubbles, you would have had a, easily would have had a second ult. I don't know that it, it obviously wouldn't have made that big of a difference, but, you know, still fun to have a second ult. You guys had pretty good time, though, especially for that team comp. I'm a little surprised you guys have almost four minutes to work with. Pretty good. So something must go terribly wrong on defense, or maybe it's overtime and your team tilts, I don't know. Um... Together, we are strong. Who's our other tank? Is he gonna stay Hammond? Or do you go shield? Let's uh, skip back to your last tab here. Alright. Looking at your medals, average 38 energy, that's not that bad. Um, you stayed alive when you got high energy, so that's why that average energy is so high. Um, that, that must have been a lot higher until that last push, because that last push, you didn't really have much energy to go with the whole time. Um, so prior to your last push, I think you were doing really good with your energy management. However, that last push, not so great. So working on consistency um is probably something you're going to want to kind of keep in the back of your mind in terms of the bubbles and all that uh you did good with your grav um 10 high energy kills that's pretty good um especially for one round uh damage blocked it's not too bad good on objective time i'm a little surprised you don't have a higher damage medal but then again you were competing with I think it, no, it was only two DPS. A little surprised you weren't able to out damage um, maybe the Sim. Sim must have been able to get her beam charge pretty oh, consistently. Shit. It's really the only way I could see that working. Either that or they weren't shooting her sentries. But I never really noticed the sentries, at least through your view. What's this other tank going to do? Hammond. Ugh. I'm guessing that things go very terrible on defense. You don't have a shield to work with. This is a on defense. I'm a pretty strong believer, and you need a shield on this map. Unless both teams aren't running a shield, but and by shield we're talking Arissa or Ryan. Okay, 
Got a pretty... Wow, that was unlucky. That was a pretty good bubble on Hammond. I, I most likely would have done the same, so I can't really rag on you for not being able to, to save the sim. However, had you not have saved... Ha or ha not bubble Hammond, then bubbling that sim would have been the play. But yeah, you guys just got rolled. Lucio's... I don't know what he's doing. What is Lucio doing? So yeah, you, you guys barely put up a fight. Not having a shield there, you know, in a, in a case of uh, running triple tank, um, let's, let's watch that play out again. You know, in a case of playing triple tank, I think bubbling the ham in the way that you did there would have been effective because you obviously got charge off of it. However, you essentially are the shield. And I'm wondering if maybe... I'm kind of thinking as I go here, but I'm almost wondering if maybe not bubbling the Hammond and maybe waiting for them to start pushing through and then saving somebody might have been a smarter play. Because, I mean, okay, so McCree's down, but everybody's just dead instantly after that. Hammond got Moira, but everybody's just dead. But then again, if you if you bubble Sim, she would have died anyway. I, I don't know that there's anything you could have done. This team comp is just a disaster. Group up with me. Objective lost. New defense point. Objective in. Let's see if you guys can maybe hold the second point a little bit better. Okay, good bubble. Um, should have back. Wait. Where are you backing up? Yeah, there, there's just no shield. Every time the Reinhardt has all, he's gonna be able to team wipe you guys. Um, you didn't. I don't think you ever bubbled anybody else though. So that that's not good, but. Again, I don't know if it would have really mattered in the end. Yikes. You guys never stood a chance this whole time. That is the epitome of being rolled over. Okay, so now Hammond's friend is getting tilted probably and thinks going D.Va might help. Uh, I don't know about that one. Okay, let's talk about this for a second. I've been trying to figure this one out. This weekend, I noticed I've been getting a lot of Anna Mercy combos for support, and I honestly can't understand why. Anybody in the comments want to defend that uh, support combo? Please. I don't understand it. I find it to be pretty bad myself. I, I don't think I won any of my games where I had a Mercy and an Ana as a combo of supports. And I don't, I don't even know if Diva's really going to be that much of a difference maker. I mean, you guys did fairly well on attack. It was defense where you needed a different tank, so I'm not totally sold on this tank swap. But let's see what happens. If you guys are able to roll them, then you'll stand a little bit of a chance, but... I'm cringing at the thought of what your next defensive hold is going to be right now. Unless you get a shield tank.
a pretty decent bubble for the most part. Um, yeah, I don't know what you're doing right now. Um, all right, so this is what I would have done. So you're bubbled right here. You got your charge. I'd immediately start right clicking and going back because now you're not really a tank anymore. As soon as you lose your bubble, you're not really a, that much of a tank. I mean, you are a little bit, but not not to the extent where you can just stay out there and just keep holding left click or something like that. So I'd immediately just start peppering them with right clicks, um, going back that way, and then looking for my other bubble target because you haven't bubbled anybody yet. Uh, Diva would most likely be the obvious choice, but I don't know where Diva is. Uh, maybe Ash because they seem to want to just try to shoot the shield or Anna or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure what your team's doing right now. Oh, Diva's already been demacked. That's that's good. <laughs> so yeah, I, but still, given given your team isn't really doing much to help you, you still got to be using those bubbles. Um, Going a whole life on the initial push without using your your other bubble, that's not good. Uh, and then you're, you could have been bubbling that D.Va about five seconds earlier too. You didn't get much charge off of, I think it was the bubble on yourself. Um, let's rewatch that once. Okay, so you got you got a full 40 on the diva. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so you you bubble here. I question why here. Um you're out of range of the enemy Zarya. Ryan's not doing anything to you. Yeah, imagine if you had your bubble. Um, imagine if you had your bubble right here. Oh, come on, YouTube, catch up. There you go. Yeah, like right here. Imagine if you had it right there. You'd have been able to farm right off of that Zarya high beam, high charge beam, and you could have gotten some real charge. A okay, bubble Anna. Anna's not really being shot at, so you got nothing off of that. So now you're not going to be doing any damage. Uh, you got. Okay, that one was good. That was a good one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she used Bob too. Oh boy. And she did it right after the McCree ulted. After hitting the trigger button on the ult. Bob didn't get a single kill either, I don't think. Although DPS are getting some picks. Oh, fair is down. Bubble, bubble. That one's okay just because... Nope, oh, she's gonna die. <laughs> Uh, the reason I say bubble on the Ash, she was so low, and you don't really know exactly what's going on in that fight, and since nobody's communicating, it's better to just get that bubble there and maybe keep somebody going. Oh wow, that was unlucky. I didn't even see him coming down either. Ooh, good Pharaoh. Oh. My ultimate ability is charging. Commence attack on objective B. You're covered. Didn't get anything on that bubble. Um, yeah, you're right to hold alt right now. I don't think you have anything to combo with since the Farah ulted. 
Oh, 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 oh. oh, you guys got time for another fight. Give me another shot. I don't know about the Moira here. Moira is going to be constantly out of healing, I feel like. I'm all right. The same principle as when you bubbled the ash trying to get back to a fight. See, th this is the problem with low plat games. Um, it's bad positioning in the sense of what your team is doing. Like, for example, Farah is okay to be poking here, but these two should be coming back. Um, maybe being up here is okay, maybe, but... Those two are in a bad position, and it puts you in a bad spot because now you gotta waste a bubble thinking you might have to protect them. If we are to progress, we must play. See, your first sight line on Anna, and she's at pretty much a quarter health, so you panic, and now you feel like you need to bubble her, which is fine because honestly, I'd probably do the same thing because her positioning is shit. However, they're not shooting at the Anna, they're actually shooting at Farah. And you've got no charge, so anything you do is just gonna tickle them. Now, I don't know what you're doing here. You're you're at a quarter of health. You need to be going back. You don't even have any charge, so you're not gonna do any damage. If I found myself in this position right here, bubble the D.Va and get out. Um, you need to live. You have an ult that needs to get used here. You know, Zarya's ult is one of the strongest in the game, but it, it needs team coordination to make it so. Um, you don't have a lot of time left. You need to, you need to make sure you're living. We're out of time. Let's get this done. Um... Yeah, your team's not with you, so that alt did nothing. I think you panicked, and you didn't need to because you had both tanks ready to contest. You get, you guys are contesting too early, too. You, you still had a little time to get on there. Um, I don't know where your rest of your team is because you're not looking back to see what they're doing, um, which might be something you might want to start considering doing a little bit. Y you're... You're only looking in front of you. You're not really turning around and trying to figure out what the rest of your team is doing. And you're also not trying to communicate with them. They're not trying to communicate with you either, but that's part of the issue. Your team has no communication and you're not helping with that. So you don't know what your team is doing. They don't seem, they just, they're playing like it's quick play or something. So some team coordination could have gone a long way. And if you're going to play Zarya, you have to... If your team's not playing kind of the more generic team comps, you need that kind of uh, coordination to make something off-meta work. It's the reason why it's off-meta, because it doesn't typically work, or it doesn't work easily. Um, not to say it couldn't, but it's got to be coordinated. So you wasted your ult because there's nothing there to follow up on it. And no, D.Va doesn't count as follow up. She, she wasn't going to do anything there. Um, you know, your Anna was there. She's going to just be shooting at a shield. We both know what that's going to get you. Nothing. Um, you needed to try to wait. Like, right here is probably where I would have started to use it. Because now I would have been panicking. Although now it would have been too late, too. So... See if we can. Oop, that's too far back. See if we can find you a better time to have vaulted here. Yeah. So. So okay, I would have just bubbled and waited at at this corner right here. Just wait. Get your charge and wait. That's what I would have first done. So now, if you're sitting back and waiting a bit. At about five seconds, I go in. The D.Va would have been able to contest first anyway. I'm probably just now getting on the point. Okay, now I maybe use it, like, right here. 
and try to pick off the Moira. Moira's most likely not going to have her teleporter because she's just used it to rush to the point. Um, and then maybe you get her picked. If not, then I don't know. There, there really wasn't a good time because your DPS were like really never involved in this fight. Anna's already dead. And you're... Yeah, so it looks like you got a somber spawn camping because I never saw Ash in this fight. And she's already dead. Which is really bad. And now you're just getting shoved off of it and you're basically just admitting defeat. So you guys never were able to push as a team on that second point. Triple support Sombra? Okay. Together we are strong. Probably would have liked that for attack more. At least you have a shield now. So, alright, if you learned anything from your first defense, playing more passive with your bubbles is definitely going to be the play here. Wait. Now I saw a Reaper. Shoot. Oh, you just brought up tab. I'm going to wait for that to come up again. Okay, so it seems like your duo just gave up. And now Daydreams is trying to save it with a D.Va. I don't know what they were. They were probably playing DPS. Um, yeah, your average charge is dropping because you don't have any obvious targets to be bubbling. Um, use of bubbles has kind of declined as the game went on. I'm guessing that's out of frustration of what your team is doing. Um, I'm a little surprised you're able to keep bronze damage though, considering you weren't really able to do a whole lot between round one and two. And three, really. Two and three, you felt kind of weak in terms of your charge and everything. Um, you didn't get a single high energy charge since round one. That's just something to keep in the back of your mind too. Okay, being a little bit more passive with the bubbles, that's good. That means you're kind of thinking about when to use them. Although, you should should have used it on the Reaper right there. Reaper would be a great bubble target here. And you, okay, you got him eventually. Definitely would have used it earlier, though. It, it's the same principle as when uh, I was saying bubble the Sim. You know, let him get close and just do his work. Like a boxer going to the body. Bubble, yep. Okay. Bubble, bubble. Uh, probably bubble the Reaper, actually, since you didn't... Uh, yeah, bubble Reaper. That was a good self bubble. up not sure what you're doing here yeah that that was over you over uh, extended there all right so right here like right here you should be trying to get out because right now you're staring at a roadhog and you're you're front lining and the problem with your team right now is you have no front line 
so you kind of need to just brawl on the point. Um, because the second you start to back out, he's just gonna hook you right back in, and they're they're clumped up, so they're gonna kill you. So the the Lucio gets behind you and then boops you in. He, they didn't even have to hook you, which is good teamwork. Are they a group? That's good teamwork. No, they're not even a group. But yeah, that that's really good teamwork. Um. Yeah, honestly, the biggest problem here is the tanks. The tanks have been the problem this whole game, and it, it and it's honestly just the type of tanks you guys are picking. Because I'm guessing they're just going to steamroll from here on out. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Oh, big diva bomb. All right, well, diva bomb saves you guys, maybe. No, oh, maybe not. Too little, too late. Wow. Four people killed on a diva bomb and you guys couldn't capitalize on that. That sucks. Okay, that's good that you're kind of ignoring the tracer to try to contest. Uh, I'd be bubbling Greg right here. Probably could have did that maybe a half second earlier and gotten a little bit more charge off of it. You got next to no charge off of any of that. What the hell happened there? So, all right, I, right here, bubble, because now they see you're about to contest and everybody's going to fire on her. Bubble, right there. I don't know what you're waiting for here. Look how much, oh, oh, shoot. Okay, she's already at half health by the time you bubble. That easily would have been 40 charge. Easily would have been. Hold on. Oh, you got hacked. Okay. Oh, you never even used your own bubble because of the hack. So, all right, right here, bubble. Oh, and then bubble yourself, like, right here. Because now they're starting to get on you and you're being hacked. I, I, was, I thought you bubbled yourself. That's why on the rewatch I wasn't pointing that out, but I just realized you never did. Soon as you, right after bubbling the Brigida, bubble yourself because they're gonna get off of the Brig and go after you, and that's basically what they did. I am still in the fight. Objective lost. And it probably wouldn't have mattered in the grand scheme of things, but it's just it's the only thing you can do. Um, I would alt right here. To, yep. Okay. Good. Although, all right. Wait a minute. Wait. So good. Good timing on the alt, but... Oh, I see what happened. I was gonna say, you should have been going after the Moira, but I realized she teleported out of it. I want to look at this again. So I agree with the timing of the alt, but maybe not the positioning you chose for it. I I don't know why you didn't bubble Reaper there either. Um. Boy, that's hard to say. Since we can't see the rest of the fight, there's still two people on point. None of these guys are on point. I'm questioning maybe who you chose to grab here. The Lucio, the Tracer would have been great grav picks. I don't know if it was possible to get both of them at the same time, but I think those were the two that were still on point. You know, grabbing Roadhog, he's such an easy target. Why grab him? Then you got Moira. She tellied right out of it, right? So, and I think Sombra fell into it right at the very end. Maybe it was Sombra and Lucio on point. I don't, I'm not really sure who else was on point because you're not really looking around enough to, to know all of this. Um, so try to start looking around more. Um, had you been able to get the Lucio, that would have been a great one to grab. Um, Tracer would have been another great one. You know, ones that you actually could have gotten picks off of. You didn't get anything off of that. You slowed him up a little bit. 
but okay, good bubble. Okay, good pick. That was good tracking. But I think it's all too little too late at this point. Yeah. So. Things we can uh, talk about is use. Use your bubbles. Uh, try not to be dying without ever having used your self bubble or bubbling your teammate. Um, your positioning. Just do POS for that. Um, positioning wasn't always the greatest. Um, it wasn't terrible, but there were some times that you could have been playing a little differently. Um, and then three, your awareness. You're not really looking around enough to, to really think about what you're doing or what you should be doing. You're kind of tunnel vision to whatever's in front of you start looking around and being a little bit more aware of where and what your team is doing um for comms um there was next to no communication in any of this game unless this recording just didn't capture any of it but no communication as far as i could tell through this vod so communication's got to get better um even if you end up just talking to yourself, at least you're trying and consider it practice. I mean, when you're in low plat, you just got to start practicing and start trying to build some consistency for when you do start to climb. That way you kind of start belonging in the in the higher echelon games when you eventually get to them. Um, you got to be able to communicate your grabs. You got to be looking at who you can combo with when you grab. You got to be thinking about who you should be grabbing. Um, so I guess that's really point five is um, I'll just say alts, uh, being aware of what you're doing with your alts, who you're alting, who's around to benefit from it. Um, I will say this, you, you didn't have a lot of help for being able to combo much with grabs. Um, you know, Ash isn't really the greatest for that unless you grab a bunch of people that don't have a shield. Um, the Faur would have been good. Aside from that, you never really had much. You know, maybe a, a well-placed Diva Bomb would have been nice or something. But generally speaking, uh, it, it's hard to pinpoint who the problem really was because you never swapped off Zarya and the other people never swapped off Dive Tank. So you had a story of... One tank wanting to do one thing and the other tank wanting to do something else. There's no cohesion. There's no synergy. There's no chemistry throughout the whole thing. You guys kind of made it work a little bit on attack, but on defense, it was pretty much a nightmare. Um, and that's really all she wrote for this one. Uh, so hopefully you learned a little something from this. Um, and I'll catch you guys for episode three.